Hello everybody, welcome to NET Flicks New Channel. And today, my name's Corey. And I'm Josh. <laughs> Just for today, your name's Corey? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to NET Network. I am Corey, and this is my co-anchor, Josh Wiggletit. <laughs> Hi, I'm Josh Wiggletit. <laughs> I don't know where that name came from. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Corey, and this is my co-anchor, Josh McGillicuddy Nick Nick Nick. First of all, how good do I look right now? Look at these mustaches. Pretty damn nice. I'm Corey. And I'm Josh. And we review Netflix movies. We rate our movies four different ways. In plot, character and acting, general feeling, and overall rating. And sometimes, we just like to have fun. The 70s are over, and Channel 4 News Team tries to stay classy as they reassemble the New York's first 24 News Channel. Joshua Wiggletit, what do you think about the movie today? I thought it was random mm -hmm. and really funny. It's an Anchorman movie for sure. It is. It, the, f <laughs> the first one was good, but I think the second one actually kind of beats it in randomness and just crazy... Blah. Right. If you expect an Anchorman movie, that's exactly what you're gonna get, but more. I really, really did enjoy this movie. Oh, geez. So what I told you was, mm -hmm. was that Ron Burgundy, he's surrounded by idiots, and then he tells them like, "This is the worst idea I've ever heard." He's brutally <laughs> honest with everybody, which makes it hilarious. <laughs> and it's kind of just like you want to do this to people in your life, but you know it would make you less friends. <laughs> so then you see Ron Burgundy doing it, and everybody just ignores him. And I think that's what's so funny about this movie. My, my favorite part of this movie, hands down, and it's always been, even from Anchorman, is Brick. Brick. Brick is one of the funniest, like, Steve Carell playing Brick was like a perfect Do you character. think they actually gave him lines? I think, honestly, for this movie, he improv a lot, and they just cut whatever they thought was the funniest thing. I think, and they just yeah, I think they did where they just told Steve Carell, they're like, just do something. Just right. say something. And he's just like, I wear, I'm wearing two different types of pants right now. Right. Some of them are just ridiculous, and that's what's so <laughs> funny about it. You just think to yourself, where did he come from with this? But it's just funny. But it works, point. because oh, yeah. they built that character in Anchorman 1, mm -hmm. and they just told Steve Carell, here's your character again. Do whatever the hell you want to do with it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And then he meets a girl who's just as ridiculous. Kristen, Kristen Wiig from SNL. Yeah. And... She does an amazing job at being his... The female version. Yeah, a female version of Brick. What did you think about the plot of the movie overall? Like, what was going on? I like the fact that they're bashing CNN and just the way that America does news. I like the reality of, like, how they brought it out and go, hey, guess what? Let's not tell America what they want to hear. Let's just give them bull crap to make yeah. them feel good. Which is hilarious. And it's pretty is. much just like... Firework, firework, American flag, love us for, because we're American. And, and that was all of the news. Yeah, absolutely. And then it would show like a naked lady. And that would be <laughs> that would be how they got their ratings up, which is... Pretty clever. Yeah, pretty close to what they do. <laughs> so Will Ferrell basically was playing Will Ferrell. Um, like his Anchorman he, style of it. I don't know if, if he actually has a, his own personality or if he just takes... Everybody, Everybody else's, like, what they think of him, and then that's who he is. Yeah, I feel like he didn't really change from Anchorman 1 to 2. He's he just looks older. Thing. Yeah. Well, yeah. And it's, it's been, like, what, a decade yeah, since it's the been first a while. One? It's been a while. So, because so, it was in the 70s, and now it's in the 80s. Right. Okay. Yeah. They smoke crack, too, so that's a good part of it. Yeah, kids. <laughs> smoke crack. Don't do that. We're not going to spoil the ending. No. But what did you think of it? The ending itself? Yes. I felt like it didn't fit. That's what she said. Like, I felt like there was no point of the ending at all, just to, we're not going to ruin anything, but they just did a lot of cameos. That's yeah. it. And it was just like, hey, look who's in this. Look who's it, who it mm -hmm. is. Let's introduce them just to introduce them. They definitely just threw faces in. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever with the movie. No. Except it's something that they did from the first one. Right. And that's why they wanted to do it again. It felt like it was like an hour and 45 minutes of reality, set in reality of the newsroom. And then they just went out of nowhere with just bringing these characters like, there's no point of this at all. It's just <laughs> yeah. to do it. But overall, what did you think about the movie? I liked it. It's definitely good to have 
Not just with like two people, but like a whole group of people oh, all yeah. together laughing. The movie doesn't have to make sense. No. And that's what I think that's what's great about it. You just mm. gotta laugh at the stupid things Brick says. Will Ferrell, while I don't, I'm not really a huge fan of him. Mm -hmm. The Anchorman movies are like one of my favorite comedies. It's like honestly, the reason why I loved it so much was just Brick himself. Like, I, think, I was I was thinking to myself, like, wouldn't it be amazing if they just made a Brick movie? But then I thought to myself, no, what makes Brick so good is he just comes in randomly at certain parts. Um, what do you? What would you rate this film for a comedy? Uh, it's so hard to rate. It really is. You get a lot of, like, laughs out of it, and mm -hmm. it's a good time. But at the same time, it's a comedy with yeah. Will Ferrell. <laughs> right, right, right. And it, ha it really has no plot or anything. No. I'm going to go with a three. Three? Yeah. I'm going to agree with you. I would say three if I was watching it by myself, but it's definitely one of those movies you have to watch with It's friends. a party movie. It's a party movie. You have a big screen, you put it on, and you just sit back and you drink beer and you like <laughs> you laugh at the it's just like the stuff. outrageousness, especially right. when you get to the end. Right. So four stars as a party film, three if you're watching it by yourself. Okay, I can agree with you there. There you go. This it has been Netflix Critics with the news. Why are we doing this? What are we holding I here? don't know. I don't know. I think this just makes us look sophisticated. That's what it is. Sophisticated. Plus our mustache is on. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, make sure you rate, comment, and if you've seen the movie, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Just go! Stay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this has been Netflix Critics. Good night, New York. Oculus. Oculus! <laughs> didn't hurt you? No, it didn't hurt me. <gasps> oh, it's just that <laughs> <laughs>